Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Evening, Jessica. Amy and Roop, it sure is. It doesn't really get much worse than this. Detroit police telling me if this man is going to sexually assault an 80 year old woman at her own home, what will he do next? They are calling this a top priority right now and adding to just the sadness of this situation. The woman's husband was there at the time when this happened, but he is handicapped and couldn't intervene. It is a uh, top priority right now. It's all hands on deck. Head of Detroit Police Sex Crimes, Captain Rebecca McKay, says they're chasing every lead, trying to find the man who raped an 80-year-old woman at her own West Side Detroit home. Her husband, who is handicapped, unable to move inside when this happened. Anyone who suffers from a sexual assault is going to be mentally injured. Uh, and it's going to take a long time. Sunday night around nine at the elderly couple's home off Memorial Street near 96 in the Southfield, the man entered through an open back door demanding money and food, then a struggle. The victim told him, no, we don't have any money and started to push him out the door. He pulled her with him and uh, to the outside where he sexually assaulted her. After it was over, she called 911. The 80 year old was injured from the sexual assault, but is expected to be OK physically. Family is staying with her now. The description investigators have to go on is vague, but there are a lot of home surveillance cameras in the area. They're processing to see if they can pick up this guy's movements. The captain says it's too early to tell if there is DNA evidence to help them find the suspect. It's traumatic. It's traumatic not only for the officers who are investigating it, but for society as a whole. At this point, they do not believe he had a gun on him. That's based on what the victim told police. One thing that can be learned from this incident is that we just need all need to stay vigilant and aware of, of our surroundings and keeping our doors and windows locked. Absolutely locking those windows and doors, even when you're home. As we said there, investigators, they do have a vague description. We will pass it on only because if anybody was in the area of Memorial Street last night, they may recognize this guy. Police are looking for a black male in his 20s, about 5'8", with a slim build. If you know anything about what happened, call Detroit Police right away. Reporting live on Detroit's West Side, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News. Yeah, just hopefully those ring security cameras in the neighborhood will have captured something that will give us a much better description. It sounds like this person initially showed up to rob them. You said he demanded money and food. Yeah, and he did not take or get any valuables, anything like that. We also asked uh, Detroit police if the man maybe smelled of intoxicants or something like that. Nothing that stands out. But yeah, he just after he was done, he vanished into the night. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.